My name is Paul Beckett. I am a director with a multidisciplinary environmental consultancy called Florum. The risks to property caused by Japanese knotweed um, aren't simply the physical damage it can do to structures, services, foundation, brickwork, walls, um, although it can do that, it can grow into cracks and, and prise apart um, concrete and brickwork and through tarmac. Um, probably of greater cost and significance are the effects of successful litigation. Um, now in a successful litigation case, the costs aren't simply the, um, the treatment of the Japanese knotweed. There is a significant blight effect of Japanese knotweed on property and that, has, um, uh, that diminutes the value of the property. And that can be as much as 20% of the, of the actual value of the property. So it's very easy for costs to run into the tens or even hundreds of thousands of pounds depending on, on, on how much the property is worth. Once Japanese knotweed has been identified on a property, it needs to be got rid of. Now the important thing in um, using someone to deal with the knotweed issue is that they are a PCA, Invasive Weed Control Group, group member. That's because the um, guarantees and the level of professionalism that they'll exhibit will be um, backed by the CML, the BSA and the RICS. There are a number of treatment options. Herbicide is probably the easiest uh, and cheapest but it takes a long time. Uh, and that's because you're applying herbicide to a, um, a limited area of above ground growth to affect a very large volume of rhizome um, beneath the ground. If a more immediate solution is required, and that's quite often the case where the diminution in value of the property caused by the knotweed is much more than the cost of the herbicide treatment, um, then uh, excavation solutions can come into play. And that's where the rhizome, this, this iceberg, is dug up um, and either removed off site and, and disposed of to landfill, which is very expensive, or um, maybe treated on site through uh, crushing the fragments of rhizome, uh, picking them out, screening them, uh, burying them, encapsulating them in a membrane so that they don't grow. 